Okay, uh, good evening all. Good evening, sir. All right, uh, last day we were discussing about functions, right? Functions uh, in programming or functions in coding is basically just uh, revising the lesson that we have learned. So what are the functions? What functions means like if you group set of related activities together, for an example, think about bedding. In a wedding, we have group set of activities which are related, the arrival of uh, the bride and groom, registration, memorial photographs, uh, refreshments, events, lunch, all these things together, we call it a wedding. So wedding is a single name, right? Wedding is a single name that we, are, that we use to uh, introduce these set of activities. One or more activities are there in but those are related. So similar to that, in functions, the related coordinates, you know, you, you tell like, okay, so let's say you want to save the file. File saving a file is a function in programming, in computing, saving is a function, but saving a file has a lot of sub activities, right? When you save, what will happen? You have to select from the file menu, then save as, you have to select that. So when you select save as and click that, so there is a dialog box appearing and that is called save as dialog box, right? So there is a dialog box appearing and we call it save as dialog box. So in that save as dialog box, we have to select a location. In this save as dialog box, we have to select a location to save the file. Let's say you have select desktop to save this file. Then you have to give a name and also a file type or the file extension. So you are giving a file name and file type or file extension. And after that, so you have to select this uh, file format also. And after that, you have to save it. Just click save button. So all together, there are a set of activities. And then activities go up you know. One by one, one by one, there are a set of activities. And then all of that, save in file, it is set of related activities. This set of related activities, we call them a single name. We give them a single name. What is that? Save in a file or save. So we have given a single name, save as or save. So save as or save is a function. So I think now it's clear, right? So you can understand it easily Fun in a function. You give related things, related processes inside a single, so inside a function, which is identified by a single name. And parameters in a function. So I don't know whether you heard of this. So in MS Word, you can do this now with me. In MS Word, if you type equal R A N D one comma one. So what will happen? Can anyone tell? So have you seen that or have you experienced? Equal R A N D one comma one. Look at the when we have a word will type. Yes, Sinali, have you tried this? If not, you can try it now. If you have the computer and MS Word, you can try it now. And tell me what's happening. Image. Yes, if you have the computer with you now, you can give a try. Try it then. Computer cut then lagati and on. So what is happening? Let's put it. No one gave a try. If you tried, please let me know. If not, it's okay. But I hope you can just give a try. Not a big thing. Uh, I just, so I what did happen? Yes. The video provides a powerful way to help you prove your point. Types a sentence, right? Chaturya, you can also try it. So if you have a computer, you can also try. If you don't have, don't worry. So just give a try. Here, when I press enter, what will happen? It video provide powerful way to help you prove your point. Okay, now let's change this, right? One comma two equal R A N D one comma two. Now what? So let's let's learn this. If you have not learned this in your childhood, maybe this is the time to learn. 
had Punsikale Mio Karla and Twitch is a matter of the Lan and the command and then you can come from the no Kolokute. So when it comes to eleven classes, a lot of students, right, Okolange, Mamma Dakino, Godak, will out Okolo week. Okolo Godak, Punch Punch, they all done in a young eight yellow than in a hay to her. It up in the Kaladino then. Kaga Kalavella generations win us. So like uh, five, uh, seven years ago, when I was starting A level ICT, even even before that, like actually, so in 2011, like 10 years ago, but uh, this uh, 10 years ago, nine years ago, so the student who came to came or select A level ICT subject had some knowledge in ICT. But when it comes to newer generation, you are having like, uh, there is a problem. I don't know why, why it is happening. So they are having some errors in the fundamentals. They don't know the basics, right? Okay, then uh, again, when it comes to grade six, seven students these days, they know very well. Then knowledge Okay, one comma two, what will happen? Come on, Nagar, then Ninagin, the Ugulanta, Matavara the Dan, Bami, Samasta, with the Hame level student, Kirik Moeva get a man. The Uli the Nepami Anita on the Apinaraka, you work in Samasta with the Mandas, who ski a semi master, the Hame Kamakino, Samasta with the A level students, let me call you again. Hurry. Anyway, so what will happen when I press, when you press this? Another sentence at this. Ah, it is another sentence will be added. Okay, when I press three, then what should happen? Another sentence should be added. Now, tuna ine the then tuna kino. Hatradem of if I put four, four sentences. If I put five, five sentences. So can you see what's happening if I put um ten? How many sentences? There will be sorry. When you have to press enter, right? After I press, you have to press enter, then there will be 10 sentences. Understood? Okay, whatever api me me athulata dunneka tiyana me ekka deka kila venas kare api up to 10. So this is called a parameter. So to make a hadala tiyana function neka. This is already built function by Microsoft. Microsoft samagaming hadala dila tiyana function neka. If you api mona the make venas karani, what we are going to change? We are going to change the parameter value. Hari, a parameter value will come with them. If we put 20 for this, so you'll get 20 lines, 20, 20 sentences. 100, so it will be 100 sentences. So you can change the parameter value. Hari, 100 out, because look, we can put to Ghana, put in a bit to Tunak, leave it. 100 sentences. You can count one by one, but it will give 100 sentences. I thought up it may 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 the me to parameter these are called parameters for function so these parameters you can change right these parameters you can change okay let's uh, change let's uh, put this to and let's change this to two now two comma two now what will happen you will get two paragraphs if you press three you will get three paragraphs let's put four it will give four paragraphs Okay, the first parameter is number of paragraphs and the second parameter is number of sentences per paragraph. So if you say four, two, there will be four paragraphs. This is one, second paragraph, two, third paragraph, three, fourth paragraph. There will be four paragraphs and each paragraph will have two sentences because we have used four comma two. There will be four paragraphs. Each paragraph will have two sentences. So these parameter values, when we change the parameter values, the output will be different. So this is the nature of function. The function is the name here. Rand is the function name here. And there are how many parameters in this function, Puthi? Mm -hmm. How many parameters? Yes, come on. Please talk. But please talk, right? At least send in the chat. How many parameters there? Okay, Chaturya, you are new. So how many parameters there? Chaturya. 
Yes. Tell me, okay, Chatur, there are two parameters, correct? Right. Likewise, answer. Then only I can understand. There are two parameters, right? So now, if I change, if I remove this uh, and just put this, now, how many parameters? Still, it will work, right? If I put rand, still it will work. Now, zero parameters, no parameters. If I put only two, then there will be two paragraphs. If I put uh, five, there will be five paragraphs. So it can run with one parameter also. And it can run with two parameters also. Five comma three, then five paragraphs each with three lines. Okay, this is rand. There's another function in Word, Tavakta Word the Tav function, that is called lorem. Equal lorem. Image Teruna Kieneka Terun Natam Bute Kiana. Image Lorem. Lorem is another function. Lorem is non-English, right? English in the way. Let's say Lorem 3 comma 2. You will get three paragraphs each with two lines. Three paragraphs. This is the first paragraph. This is the second paragraph. And this is the third paragraph. There, are, there will be three paragraphs each with two lines. Right? Let's say 3 comma 5. There will be three paragraphs each with five lines. So this is the first paragraph and this is the second paragraph and this is the third paragraph. This is non-English, right? This is not English. So let's copy this and see, try to translate this, what will happen? Mm. Let's say to English. This is dummy text actually, this lorem mpsem is called, it is English. Who do we use it? Okay, this is the translation, right? So what is this language, is it? Everywhere this dummy text is mostly used, right? So what is the language? This. Not sure what language it is, I don't know actually. So you have to search this. Once you search, you will uh, find this, but uh, let's search that later. So Lorem Ipsum is placeholder, use publishing graphic designs filter. So not showing the language here actually. Okay, uh, right, put it. So let's forget about that for the moment and let's focus on our main task. Main goal is identifying the functions and the parameters. Okay, now we have done that. We know how functions and parameters are working. And there's one of the things. So we have learned function in Python. This is IDLE. And we have learned function in Python. So Whatever the code that I'm writing today, so you can write in IDLE, you have to either download Python IDLE, or if you don't have the IDLE, you can still try this with uh, in mobile. There's an application called PyDroid. So yes, there's a newcomer that's what I'm telling. And uh, for Windows, Mac, Linux, there's something called IDLE. You can use that for coding. If you don't have anything, still you have Python compiler online. So you can use that online Python compiler. Then you will get this GDB compiler. And that is another way of writing Python code. But remember that I'm going to import uh, turtle here. Some packages. Let's see, let's try this import turtle. Uh, T equal t equal turtle dot uh, turtle this is how you write online in capital t so let's try this i'm not sure this is working so i'm trying i'm forwarding this turtle to 100 this. okay couldn't display that couldn't connect to the display so that is basically not showing in the online one right 
So that's what I want to verify because this code will work in the pyroid as well as this code will work in IDLE. So let me write this by going to the IDLE and take in a new file. So later, if you cannot understand how to install or how to run a port, let me know, then I'll help Chaltu there, right? Okay, let's write this here. I'm going to save this file. Now, actually, this file I'm going to save aljan15.py. Uh, uh, so let's run this and it's, it will draw a line yeah, it will draw a line for 100, 100 pixels. It will cover 100 pixels. And you can see the forward is a function which will take one parameter and you can give a value to that. And even there are, so these all these codes are developed with functions. We can define our own function and we learn how to define that. Let's define our own function. I just want to draw a star. So I'm writing def draw star that is my function name draw star then i just want to draw a star and i'm using t dot forward uh, forward in let's say 200 pixels and i'm turning t dot left side let's say 127 pixels and doing this few times maybe one two, three, four, five times and want to see what's going to be there in the stream. Now you have a function, right? Function name is draw star. Actually, it's not drawing, it's not immediately drawing. You have to call the function. Draw star is the function name. Then with the brackets, this is how you call the function. Draw star, then the brackets. Press enter and you can see it's drawing. It's not, not very good star. Okay, can you tell me the angle for a star? Star has like five axes. So those who are good in maths, can you help me? Star ekak mata me mehe mandi no. Line pahak tiye na tarua. Kone kiya kitra veid? What is the angle? Yes, yes, tell me. So the, I know you are good in maths. I'm not good in maths, but you are good in maths. Can you tell me the angle? Sorry? 72. 72? I don't think. 72 is not the same as the other one. The other one is the same as the other one. This is 72, right? This will become 72. So you have to tell the internal angle. I think you have to uh, the, do 180 minus 108. Yes, 108. 108 and see. 108. Now I'm going to change this to 108 and 108 and 108. Yes, uh, change the, the initial one also to 108. And also the last one to 108. So let's see, let's draw this and I'm running this. Okay. Let's call the draw star function. One, two, three, four. Ah. <laughs> Looks ugly. It's not going to work out. So my back calculation. So this is not going to draw. So let's let's increase this, not 108. Let's say. 100 and 168 so you can you can try different angles with it so but each time rather than entering this you can just put an parameter angle is the parameter i'm going to use that same angle here so then i'm putting the angle Everywhere I put, uh, so when I enter the angle, everywhere it will be applied. So let's run it now. So this is now it has one parameter or one input. So now draw star won't run a with the empty function. Draw star should run with the parameter. So let's say 168 degrees. One, two, three, four, five, five. That is not going to draw a star. So let's give some other figure, 138. We can try it on different things. One, two, three, four. 
somewhat better. Okay, let's try from the beginning. So let's run it. Now you can experiment. Why? You have a parameter. So similar to equal rand, you can experiment. One, two, three, five. Okay, close enough. Should be 145. What do you think? 145. I think it should work. Oh, return into the same position. Seems going to work. Okay, let's try this. So these see the importance of the parameters. You can change the parameters and apply again. Ah, what that ready? 144, two, three, four. Oh, is it? Is it? So let's try. 442. Not sure. So just, just give a try. Okay, just give a try. Try this with me and you can see it's, oh, it's correct. It's 144. The angle is 140. Okay. So I'm not good in maths. Those who are good in maths will find this in one go, one calculation. So for pentagon pair, five axis star, five side star, one, two, three, four, five. So if the angle is 144. I don't know uh, the calculation, right? Maybe if you are good in maths, you will find it. Okay. This is how you wrote. But you know, there is a, sh a short way of writing that rather than writing this for five times. So what is the short way, Puti? So there are three control structures. Yes, just tell me there are three control structures. What are they? Sequence. Uh, sequence. Repetition. And repetition. Yes, sequence is basically something like this. In yes, instructions will execute one after another. Instructions execute. Sequence. We call this sequence. Instructions execute one order after another. If there is a condition, if there is a condition, so let's say you came to a junction, if you turn right side, you will go right side. If you turn left side, you'll go left side. So you have a decision. So if you here from this menu, if you see you save, select, select save, save the existing document. If you select save as, you are saving as a new document. So two conditions. How many conditions? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11. So there are many conditions. So you have to select one of these. So how many menu items? You have to select one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight menus. Out of eight menu items, you have to select one menu. So likewise, selection is also there. There is a second control structure. Third control structure is repetition, repeating things. So easy, we have already learned if you have not if you cannot remember, my advice is please watch the videos. So repetition, you can say for x in range five. That means this should happen five times. What should happen five times? This entire code should happen five times. But then you can remove other four. Why? So this is x in range five. Five times these two codes will run. So let's run this. And now you can see, okay, let's do a small experiment. Draw star 144, you can see it's drawing five side star. And I need six side star. Now I'm going to change another time. This is size, right? And this size, this size that I introduce, I'm going to put into the number of sides that I have introduced. I'm going to put into. Okay, now what should happen? Now this has two parameters. So now I'm going to give draw star a parameter one. And I have to give the number of sides. So one, two, three, four, five axis star. Then draw star. Then, so let's say I'm going to change the angle one, 130 and then I'm mentioning six sides. Three, four, five, six. Oh, not a good one. 
so you have to try okay so when when i draw things i need to clear this let let me clear this and uh, so let me clear this by adding small code which you can say turtle dot yeah okay look you can start with the turtle dot clear function right you have to clear the screen and draw this otherwise like then each time you draw okay then let's try this one Oh, it's not pro it's not clear in that so let's say t dot clear so now try the first one let's try the second one yes it's clear now right okay so now you can try different values otherwise like it's not clear in the screen no? so then then uh, for six side let's put uh, 100 and 136 uh, you suggest me then i can put that you have to suggest that is not six sides yes what should i put shall i increase to 150 160 160 One, two, three, four, five, six. No, no, no. Then uh, 145, 150. Suggest. You have to suggest. Six. No. Actually, from six, you can't draw, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. At least you need how many? You need more. Uh, even seven sometimes work. Yes, seven is good, but not drawing. Uh, you need to make it uh, somewhat closer. Mm, 160. Four, five, six. Seven. No. So let's reduce it uh, to 140. So likewise, you can just give a practice. Now, I just want to show you how this happening. And you can give any number of times, right? 140, then you give like uh, 40 times. So you can see it's creating something like this. Okay. It has created a nice shape, but no need to run 40 times. I think uh, it has created some nice drawing. Okay, let's give some arbitrary value, 147, and then this. You can try, you can try with the various uh, calculations. Okay, here's the code, you can write down this. So still I'm continuing the previous session, functions and the parameters. Functions and the parameters, under that, please write down this and please practice this and then write down in your note. I'll move to the next one. Right, return in functions and non return in functions. Some functions, right, some functions are giving us a result, and where we can save this result and execute later. Right, it will create, it will actually run the function and create, generate some result. 
keep it for later use. Those are called returning functions. So how these functions are working? Like let's say, so let's forget about the turtle example. Let's see, you want to add two numbers. So you want to add two numbers. I'm defining a function or let's say you want to find average. Average of three numbers, n1, n2, n3. You want to find average of three numbers. So have we done dictionary tuples that part? List tuple dictionaries? Yes. yes or no? Yeah. No. Yes. Yes or no? One or two? No, sir. No. Right. Okay. okay then uh, we have to wait, right? We have to wait then. Okay. So until we clarify this. Otherwise, I'm just giving uh, average number one, number two, number three. So then I'm going to find the total. Actually, I'm going to add the uh, return by adding n1 to n2 to n3, I'm going to add three numbers and divide it by three, and I'm going to return it. Adding three numbers and returning it. Okay, let's save this. Let's say, uh, Jan 15x2.py, let's run it. Now the function is there. Let's write, uh, let's run the function. I can save this, okay, answer equal AVG. I need uh, to give the numbers four, five, and three. I need to find the average. And you can see nothing happens, but this function has executed. Later in some occasion, I can print the answer. So average of these three is four. Right, that is called a returning function. So you can, it, it's returning a value, saving the value for later use. Same, same, so this is a returning function. Same thing can be done in, as a non returning function. So this is average two function. So this is non returning. What I'm going to do instead of just returning that, I'm going to print it. So it's not allowing us to save the value instead of that. It's directly printing the value. Okay, the first one is answer average. This, this is saving the value. And the next function, if I run, so this is how to run the second function. Second function, I can just say AVG2. And I'm just calculating the numbers. It's directly printing the value. So the first function is called returning function. The second function is called non returning function. Returning, non-returning. I hope you understood the concept, right? Returning, non-returning. Returning function ne kiye di. Return karne ka save karna tiya ke na passe paave chikana na pulo. Kya uttare hai dila tiya karna pulo. Non-returning ne uttare hai dila pehna. Is shutdown is a returning function or non-returning? Shutdown karne ka returning the non-returning. Computer kab shutdown karna? Is it returning non-return or non-returning? Non returning. Non returning. Okay, shut down. Shut down. I first say, you can see the other one. And when you shut down, it will shut down. So that is non returning function. So that is what? So we need to learn. Rand RND. Is it returning? Or non returning? Non returning. It's non written. Yes, because when you tell uh, RAND, it will print. It's non written. Okay, that's it. Now you can understand the difference between both functions, which is a returning function and non returning function. Okay, so there's a question recursive function. Use a recursive function to print odd numbers and even numbers separately between 1 to 20 inclusively. Okay, what is that? Recursive function. 
Recursive function is a function which call itself. So let's say def print nums. I'm starting from some number, say n1. Let's say n or n1, anything. And I'm printing the particular number. Then I'm checking if that number, sorry, first of all, I have to check this in the condition if that number is greater than zero, then I'm printing that. If number greater than zero, I'm printing that. And then I'm calling the same function, print nums. But this time, n minus one. This time. Let's run this. Print nums. I'm giving 10. It's printing 10 to one. Why? When it is greater than zero, it's printing. When it comes to one, so next will be zero. When it comes to zero, zero is not greater than, so it's called, it'll stop. So see here, I have printed this using, without using any loop, no loops, loops net. Without using loops, I have used the same function, same function within the function. Okay, now understand this logic. Understand the function clearly and write down the question and try to give the answer. Recursive function is function which call in itself. Right? Recursive function means function which call itself. Now try to print uh, the odd numbers, even numbers according to the given question. So I'll give you five minutes. If you have done, please, uh, you can share the screen also. If you have done, have you done this or not? Hello? No, sir. No. So this is easy. So what do you have to do? So you have to write from one to 20. The other way, no. Other way means you have to check whether this is less than 20, right? So 21, this is less than 21. So then you have to start printing. Maybe you have to start from one. So you have to start from one. And then actually you have to go two by two. So when you start from one and go two by two, you will print. Actually both start and end you can give, right? Here start and end, let's say S-T-N-E-N. Uh, S-T-N-E-N, I'm checking whether the start in, uh, actually, yes. S-T less than E-N and print in the starting point and also check uh, subtract, add in st, add in two to st. Well, let's see that print nums, I'm going to run this. So this is logical, right? So you can build from the previous one, then you can start printing. I want to print from one to 21. So it's printing. Ah, here also you have to give two parameters, put a uh, st and then the same end, right? Sorry. I did that mistake. And then run this. Okay. Let's say I want to start from one and I want to print till 821. So you can see it's printing 119. 1 to 19. 1, 3, 5, 2 by 2. So, but if you start from 2 to 21, it will go and print 2 to 20. So easy, right? Isn't that difficult? Is that difficult, sorry? Is that difficult or easy? Difficult? It's not difficult, right? It's easy, only thing is you have to decide. So how to change, how to end, like you have to start and end. So when start is less than, start is less than end, you have to continue. What? Print the start, start plus two. So keep on adding the numbers. So then you can print this recursive function, okay. So please write the recursive function as the answer for that. And let's do, okay, let's write this also. Now you can see, I'll give two more exercises, square numbers. 
and also two patterns. We have done this in loops also. Loops are tapikara. Square numbers, then you have um, Fibonacci series, and then you have the factorial. Right? Using these uh, recursive functions, right? Square numbers, then the fact Fibonacci, then the factorial using this. So let's let's try this also. So it will be interesting. You can just give a try. So let's try to print uh, the Fibonacci series and also the uh, next thing is uh, square, sorry, triangular numbers, no, no, no factorial numbers, uh, square numbers and Fibonacci. Let's give a try, Kuti. Right, okay, see, let's see. Uh, so what we can do related to this and you can see, so these are the functions. And uh, the answers are also here. So the first one is like basically you need to print uh, the square numbers. That is not hard. So printing square numbers, you can say def uh, sqn square number. And you have to start from some value, let's say x. So default value is one. So default value means like you have to give, you can give initial values. x equal one means the starting value. Here actually we just give x now. But if you give x equal one here itself, it will start. That means even though you have not given, it will start from one. So let's see how it's going to be executed. Then you can say if x uh, is uh, greater than or equal, sorry, less than or equal to 10 only, you have to continue. What you have to do actually, so that you have mentioned here, you have to print uh, x multiplied by x, and that is what you have to print. So let's say n is space, and we are going to continue horizontally without going to the next line and then you can say uh, sq num and the next value that means x plus uh, one should be given so x is the x plus one should be given to calculate the next one okay let's run this uh, now it's very simple only thing is this now since you have given, given a default value you can just say sq num without giving that initial value because then it will start from one but if you tell sq num and you have given initial value like 5, it will go from 5 into 5, 6 into 6 up to 100. So since the now you can mention both sq and en both, right? En also en equal to 10, let's say en is equal to 10, the n value is. So then you can mention the n value here. And here also you have to give the sq and n value, same n value. So let's run this now. And now it's like, it's giving it's more flexible because you can say sq num it's going to one to ten and if you say sq num uh, you just give the starting point let's say two then two to uh, ten so let's say you start from five five to ten and you can select the ending also five to let's say you need five to twenty and then it's moving from five to twenty so it's scalable highly customizable so that is how you print the square number highly customizable way of printing the square number. The next one is Fibonacci, you can see. So Fibonacci 1 and Fibonacci 2, you already know, it is 1. You don't, what you don't know is the Fibonacci, the next set of Fibonacci is. Okay, so let's do that as well. Uh, then let's say def uh, Fibonacci, FIB is the function. And so you can start from n and n equal 1 is also okay. And you can, you know, this if uh, n equal one or n equal to one or n equal to two. N equal to one or n equal to two, then you know you have to return uh, one. So because Fibonacci one is also one, the first Fibonacci, the second Fibonacci is also one. Else, else means you don't know the Fibonacci, then you can easily find that by adding the previous two Fibonacci's. You can return, return what? Fibonacci n minus one plus Fibonacci n minus two. So that is how you're going to print any Fibonacci. Let's run this function now. Okay, if I ask, what is Fibonacci one? It says one. What is Fibonacci two? That is also one. If I ask what is Fibonacci 3, that is 1 plus 1, 2. What is Fibonacci 10? 
5 बना के 4 लेट्स से दैट इज 3 2 plus 1 इज 3 व्हाट इज 5 बना के 5 दैट इज 2 plus 3 इज 5 5 बना के 6 इज 5 plus uh, 3 is 8. Likewise, you can print the 5 banaki. Now, you have to use a traditional 1 to 10 loop or 1 to 10 mechanism to print that. Okay, how do we do that? You can say def, uh, it's a sequence. Sequence, you're starting from n equal 1. And you, are, uh, you have to check if uh, n less than or equal to 10. So then you have to print, apply this. Uh, Yes, you can say print uh, five banaki five banaki n and end equal space. After that, you can go to uh, SQ again n plus one. So same recursion, double recursion. Here you have using SQ to move to one from one to 10. And here actually you are printing the Fibonacci related to that. Okay, let's run this code now. So now we have done enough. Let's save and run this. Both together will, let's say SQ and you need to start, you don't want to give even because it is default value is one. So yeah, you can see it's printing from. You can give the ending value too, similar to the previous one. Let's give E N ending value. And I'm going to set that default ending value to 10 and mention 10 here with ending value and just entering that ending value here also. So now you can get more Fibonacci's. When you just say SQ starting from, and when you say SQ, let's say Fibonacci 5, you can start from that and you can say start from Fibonacci 1. And you need up to Fibonacci 20, and you can say it's printing. Customizable. So, I know it's quite, quite, quite logical, right? So, but practice this, practice this harder. I'll give you time, so practice this harder. I'll give you time to write down also. Then uh, the factorial one for today's homework. Actually, I'm going to do that since we have enough time. We will do in the in class, as in class activity, right? So factorial, so we have done the Fibonacci. So what is happening in Fibonacci? So we already explained that, right? Fibonacci series, Fibonacci uh, two is Fibonacci one plus Fibonacci zero. So Fibonacci one plus two is Fibonacci three. Fibonacci four is Fibonacci three plus two. So that's the explanation. It's given in the note, right? It's given in the note. I'll share this with you. Then the factorial. Okay, let's me uh, let's go to the Senali's code which you have sent Senali. I'm going to run that function here for the factorial. Def factorial n. Then the colon mark and print factorial n. After that, you are going to print in the factorial n into n minus n into factorial n minus one. Okay, Pute, I agree with this, but okay, let's say factorial five, print factorial five. Five will be there. You can tell like this now, Pute. So if it is, if here, if you have to use if, right? If n equal to one, you know the factorial one is, you can return one. Factorial one is return one. Then else, else you can say factorial. Now you can return the other one. So return n into factorial n minus one. So that is somewhat okay. Okay, let's let's try this now. Um, re, I'm referring to factorial one, it's one, you know. Factorial two, two into one. Factorial three, three into two into one, which is six. Factorial four, four into three into two into one, which is 24. You're getting that. So I think that, is, that will be easy, right? To loop it, 
you can use a loop. You know how to start the loop. This is what the loop code. So I'm just copying that is my loop in code. And one to 10 and so, so yes, here uh, I have to call the factorial. So let's, uh, oh, 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 I have to change this to SQ2, right? Another name and here also SQ2, sorry, my mistake. Run it. This time SQ2. Okay, you can see. I'm getting from factorial one to factorial two. Right, now you can copy down this Kute and practice well. So with that, our recursion, recursive functions, so, and the functions part, basically function polling, function parameters, function part is over. I think next day we can start with, yes, that string, files, tuples, dictionary, that part. So please copy this quickly, Kute.